The Schrader valve allows airflow in one direction. Meaning to pump air into the tire, you just press the inner pin down. These valves consist of a threaded outer wall. Schrader valves of varying diameters are used on many air conditioning and refrigeration systems to allow servicing, including recharging with refrigerant. What are Schrader valves? Schrader valves are wider and shorter and consist of a valve stem, cap, and valve core. The valve stem is threaded on the top in order to accept the cap and the bottom is rubber wrapped. The valve core is threaded within the valve stem and the valve core has a spring that holds the valve shut. A little rubber seal prevents air from leaking out while the valve is shut, this sort of valve is named a check valve. It allows air to flow in one direction only. How to use Schrader valve? Using the Schrader valve is simpler than using the Presta valve. To allow air to pass through the valve. Number 1. You need to press the inner pin down. This pin is visible from the valve opening. When you press the pin, then the spring compresses, and therefore the valve will open. Number 2. You will be able to pump air in when the valve is open, let the air out, and check the tire pressure. Number 3. Once you release pressure from the pin, the valve will close immediately. Bike producers are likely to install Schrader valves on kid bikes, hybrid bikes, lower-end bikes, BMX bikes, and MTBs, mountain bikes. Schrader valves are found in motorcycle tires, bicycle tires, and car tires. Schrader valves are also found on bicycle air shocks and air forks as well as on dropper seat posts. Additionally, they are used in some refrigeration and air conditioning systems. What are Schrader valve pros? Schrader valves are more universal than Presta valves. Number 1. You are free to inflate Schrader tubes anywhere. You are free to head to any auto shop or gas station to inflate your bike tires if you're using Schrader valves. You can even use all air compressors, fortunately, all bike pumps are compatible with Schrader valves. Number 2. Schrader valves are very universal. Schrader valves are the planet standard and they're used on just about every car. You'll find spare tubes with Schrader valves in any country, which is a good thing. This is very important for bicycle tourists who are likely to find themselves traveling through developing rural regions of the world. Number 3. Schrader valves are very durable. The valve core is housed within the Schrader valves and the valve body protects the delicate valve core. Schrader valves even have a thicker and shorter design than Presta valves. This makes them a little bit more robust and on the other hand. There's no need to worry as much about bending the valve when removing your pump. Number 4. Schrader valves are simple to use. Almost all people know a way to inflate a bike tire with a Schrader valve. You easily remove the cap, push the pump head onto the valve, and begin inflating, simple as that. Immediately once you remove the pump, the internal spring closes the valve automatically. Number 5. Schrader valves are more reliable. Schrader valves have fewer exposed parts and the valve is housed inside of the stem. The cap seals the valve and prevents grim and dirt from making their way in. Schrader valves even have a thicker and sturdier design. If your pump gets stuck or oh mistakenly catches the valve on something. It's very rare to bend or break the stem. This is all higher reliability. Number 6. Schrader valve cores are simply removable. All Schrader valves have removable cores and you can use a valve core remover tool to remove the core out. You can add a puncture-resistant sealant to your bike tires or tubes if you are riding tubeless. You can even replace the valve core if it fails. And it is also simple to clean removable valves if they get clogged up with debris. Number 7. Tubes with Schrader valves are inexpensive. Schrader tubes are likely to be cheaper than Presta tubes. And this is possible because Schrader valves are much more widely used across several industries. You don't have to purchase a Presta-compatible pump because you are free to use any old bike pump. Number 8. You can also install Presta tubes in the Schrader drilled rims. There is only one difference between rims with Presta valves. And Schrader valves or rims design, the size of the opening drilled for the valve stem to pass through. You only put the skinnier Presta valve through a wider Schrader valve hole. But installing Presta valves in Schrader drilled rims must be done as a temporary fix. What are Schrader valve cons? Number 1. Schrader valves make weaker wheels. The valve hole creates a weak spot in the rim because there is easily less material in that spot. Keep in mind that a larger valve hole makes a weaker wheel. And Schrader valves want a larger diameter hole because the valves are wider. Schrader valves are not a problem for wide MTB, mountain bike, rims. Number 2. Schrader valves may lose pressure over time. 
There are some claims from cyclists that Schrader valves do not hold air as well as Presta valves. Number 3. Schrader valves are harder to inflate. Schrader valves have a valve spring that you have to overcome. This takes effort. Pumps have a built-in valve depressor to help you overcome the spring. Number 4. Schrader valves are associated with lower-end bikes. If you care about the appearance of your bike, you will ignore Schrader valves. They are likely to look low-end. Most entry-level bikes include them. Number 5. Schrader valves are too wide for some tires and rims. Some bike racing tires and rims are too narrow for Schrader valves to fit. The valve would rub against the beads of the tire and you won't be able to use Schrader valves. Number 6. Flat tires are harder to inflate once your bike tire is flat. Schrader valves can move all the way down into the rim when you are trying to attach your pump. You have to grip the bottom of the valve with one hand. And press the pump on the opposite. This may become tedious. Number 7. You need to use valve caps with Schrader valves. Schrader valves can get clogged with dirt and debris and dirt because of the design. If they are left uncapped. Enough debris in the valve. It can move the valve pin and cause air to start leaking out. You must ensure that your Schrader valves always have a cap if you want to avoid this damage. The valve cap is very important if you ride in muddy or dirty conditions. Number 8. Schrader valves are too short for some wheels. Standard Schrader valves measure 32 mm in length. And some rims are deeper especially aero rims and several carbon fiber rims. They can hide the valve stem. They want a longer valve stem so the valve sticks out far enough that it can be accessed. Then you will have to use extra long Schrader valves, a valve extender. Number 9. Schrader valves can sit crooked in the rim. If you put in your tube slightly off-center, the valve can sit at an angle, and over time. This could cause the valve to fail if it rubs against the sting of the rim for too long. Once this happens, you must replace your bike tube. Having your valves sit at an angle also looks quite sloppy. Number 10. You may lose a bit of air when removing the pump. This is one of the hugest annoyances of Schrader valves. After you remove the pump from the valve, a little air can come out. The pump can get stuck momentarily when you are trying to get rid of it and lose some PSI when this happens. This makes inflating high-pressure tires a little more difficult. And can even be an issue when inflating heavy touring bike tires. Number 11. Schrader valves are heavier the load difference is minimal. Most likely just a pair of grams per valve at the most. And if you actually care about weight, this can be a consideration. Schrader pumps are even heavier and also the pump must possess a valve depressor. Number 12. You need a tool to let the air out of Schrader valves. You can't let the air out along with your fingers. You must push the valve core pin all the way down to open the valve and let the air out. You may use your pump, screwdriver, or a pressure gauge. You can do this if you overfilled your tires or if you need to reduce the pressure for extra traction when riding on a slippery surface. It's only simple to allow too much air out then needs to reinflate the tires a bit. Number 13. Schrader valves may not be able to hold as much pressure. Road bicycle tires must be inflated to pressures up to 125 psi. And some are rated up to 65,100 psi. If you need to run your tires at high pressure, you must ensure that your Schrader valves are designed for it because high-pressure models of Schrader valves are available which will handle well over 200 psi. In conclusion, most people are likely to ask, which valve is the best between Schrader valves and Presta valves? This can depend on a person's preference. Although, Presta valves have a lot of votes because were specifically designed for use on bikes. The Presta valves require a smaller hole within the rim with less interruption to the structural integrity of the rim than Schrader valves. Presta valves are even more narrow, but to choose for yourself which one is the best. You can also watch the Presta valve pros and cons in the description below. I prefer using the Presta valves because they are the best according to my opinion.